Hey everybody and welcome to this episode of Indie Zombie. I'm Jordan and today I'm going to be talking about Rising Hell. Rising Hell is a roguelike platformer action game. I like it. The art style and gameplay are pretty cool and fun. It's a pretty tough game. Traps change from level to level, especially when you start over. Enemies stay the same except for some mini-bosses. You pick up red orbs from dead enemies to buy upgrades that either add extra damage, increase durability, or special weapons. Sometimes extra health. You can be faster and some other stuff. Every level ends with you buying an upgrade, if you have the orbs. There are a couple of different bonus rooms, the Trickster, that if you have the orbs, you can buy multiple upgrades, sacrifice health for more orbs, or the opposite, and then a room with extra enemies and platforms for more orbs. There are two game modes, Normal and then Gauntlet. Gauntlet is basically a challenge. I prefer the Normal Story Mode. You have a Mega Man X style wall jump, you can double jump and dash. As you go through, you collect light that you can use to unlock new characters or your new starting weapon that provides a cool bonus. I would usually go with the weapon that made it so that some enemies would drop blight so that I could unlock more stuff faster. I never did get to unlock the third character. I prefer the starting character for now. I didn't like the second character all that much because he has a very weak projectile attack. A few things I don't like, I wish you could jump or fall through some of these platforms. Sometimes I miss a bonus room or an enemy and you can't go back. You have a special attack that when you start the game, it happens automatically when you double jump, that you can instantly kill the common enemies. You use a triangle button to normally do this, and if you're near a door, you will instantly go through the door. So that's a tad annoying. Also, if you're near a platform, you'll go through it. And again, you can't go back. It's great for taking out multiple enemies, but it can get you hurt, but you can dash in the air. The story is that Lucifer, after his failed rebellion, he is banished and turned into a giant tree. You set out on a quest to free him. I've gotten to the second level and only played this for about two and a half hours. I was really enjoying it at first. The combat and gameplay are fun, but I find the rest of it repetitive. Sometimes it seems you die so easily or quickly that you then just have to restart all over again, unless you picked up an upgrade that gives you a second chance. It does really remind me of Hades, but I like Hades a lot more. A good game, but it's got some flaws. If you have any if you have any interest in this, definitely check it out. All right, everybody. Well, that's it. If you enjoyed this, please let me know. Give this video a like or subscribe. And please support me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. See you next time.